Okay, okay, let's talk about one of the absolute coolest moths that are out there. The buff tip moth. Scientific name? Phalera bucephala. You've seen them on my channel before and they look like a stick. The camouflage is perfect. The camouflage is nearly impeccable. In fact, when you put them on an actual stick, it's hard to tell the moth apart from the stick itself. Oh yeah. This amazing species is one that I am now kind of obsessed with, to be honest. And suddenly I had an idea, a revelation, a shock. I want to make a special buff tip life cycle video. I'm going to breed as many of them as I humanely can. I'm talking raising over a hundred of them and filming it for YouTube. It's going to be a special video, a buff tip moth deep dive. I'm talking about their secrets of camouflage, their history, their life cycle, their ecology, their biology. I will discuss all of it. And behind the scenes, I'm going to develop this video. I've already started raising a lot of larvae, just in preparation of this. But I do want to bring attention to one simple fact, guys. If you want to see it happen, especially quickly, consider supporting me on Patreon, because most of my stuff is still crowdfunded. How much moths I can breed, which species I can breed, how many videos I can make per year is all determined by the funds that I can raise online. Because generously, there's close to a hundred people who still support me every month because they like my moth videos. And today you have a special motivation to join my Patreon if you want to see this happen. Because I'm going crazy breeding this special species. You better subscribe to my channel. When it's ready, it's ready. You're gonna see that video appear on my channel. Ho ho ho. So this is what I wanted to say. I just wanted to show them off. I've started to breed this species. I want to build up numbers. I'm talking big numbers, huge numbers of buff tip moths. And then I'll make a special life cycle. And you'll never, never, never look at sticks the same way ever again. See you in the next one.